Hello and welcome to The Breakdown. I'm your host, Sandra Bebu Boateng. With just a box fan, tape, furnace filters, and cardboard. You're going to make sure that there are no air bubbles, like you can see here. Eniola Shakunbi created this virus filtering air system when she was just nine years old. Now, be honest. Do you remember what you were doing at the age of 12? Because I do. And let me tell you, there's not much to write home about. If anything, I was probably trying to survive middle school politics or thinking about how I'm going to get my parents to buy me those new pair of sneakers, you know, something like that. But today, I'm taking you all the way to Connecticut to meet an amazing 12-year-old trailblazer who's not just dreaming of a better future. She's actually building it one air filter at a time. Her name is Iniola Shakumbi, a young girl with roots in Nigeria, and she's already made history by becoming one of the youngest people ever to secure millions of dollars in funding for her life-saving invention, an air filtration system for schools. Today, we're breaking down her story, how she started, and why this matters for all of us. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another critical conversation like the one we're about to have. And Eniola is with us now and she brought one of her air filters to show us. And, and you know what? I'm so proud of you. I feel like you're one of my kids. Your mom has taken more pictures than I've ever seen anybody ever take of their kid. And this is amazing to have you here. Eniola, congratulations. Thank you so much. And we're so happy that you're here. And you know what? We have one of your, your air filters here. And we know you love science. You love engineering. But you also like to add a little flair, a little incorporate a little art into it. Why, why do, we, do you incorporate the art? And show me how to do it. So who is Iniola Shakumbi? Well, Iniola is a bright, curious, and determined middle schooler attending Camador McDonough STEM Academy in Middletown, Connecticut. But here's what makes her story so incredible. While most of us at the age of 12 were worried about gym class or what to wear for picture day, Iniola was busy thinking about how to keep her classmates safe from airborne diseases. And she actually did something about it. I noticed a lot of my friends had allergies. They'd be missing um, school, and I felt bad for them, and I wanted to see my friends. And I learned that air filters help filter out the pathogens and pollutants in the air, which produces cleaner air for people to breathe. See, back in fifth grade, when schools were just figuring out how to deal with COVID-19, Iniola joined a school science project focused on finding real solutions to prevent future pandemics. She read an article about scientists bringing an air filter to the White House and was captivated by the idea. First, because this young lady wants to become president of the United States someday. But secondly, because she thought, hmm, my school could really use this. So she put together a team and with the guidance of a scientist from the University of Connecticut, she designed an entire air ventilation system and built it using a box fan, four furnace filters, cardboard, and duct tape. So Eniolo got to work, writing a local female scientist, asking for help with the invention. All right, so following the engineering design process, you tested this out, it works, mm -hmm. ready to rock, excellent. When I built the filter, I felt like there was a lot of teamwork there, and I really liked how everybody came together to help. So I decided that it was my mission to get these into classrooms, not only across my state, but also across America, because I believe that everybody deserves a chance to have a healthy environment and learning. That's right. And the whole thing costs just about $60 to make. But don't let its simple look fool you. The Environmental Protection Agency, yes, the EPA, tested this device and confirmed that it removes 99% of airborne viruses. 99%. That's almost perfect. And when Iniola saw how powerful this invention could be, she did not stop there. She took her mission straight to the people who could make a difference, writing letters to lawmakers, reaching out to the governor of Connecticut, and even contacting the White House. Lieutenant Governor, would you please convey my message to the governor that we should put these affordable, life-saving, life-changing air filters in every classroom? 
Because, I mean, why not? If you're going to think big, you might as well think White House big, right? And guess what? It worked. On October 2024, the Connecticut State Bond Commission approved $11.5 million in funding to implement these filters in schools across the state. And her message was heard loud and clear. <laughs> the state of Connecticut unanimously approving an $11.5 million grant to help Eniola install these air filters throughout the state. That means Thousands of students, teachers, and staff will breathe cleaner air thanks to a 12-year-old Nigerian-American with a big brain and a bigger heart. But you know, what really moves me is why she did this. In Inyola's own words, I want kids to go to school knowing they're safe, that they're healthy, and that they can learn. And if you're wondering where this courage and leadership comes from, well... Her Nigerian upbringing has a lot to do with it, of course. Inyola's parents, proud Nigerians, have always taught her the importance of community, education, and using her gifts to serve others. What we all want as parents is for our kids to, you know, achieve greater things than we could yeah. never imagine. As an African-American woman and an African-American child doing something like this, impacting the world, people of all races, all color, putting aside your differences, and looking up to a girl child, an African-American child, that is huge. You know, in Nigerian culture, there's a deep sense of if I rise, we all rise. And that's exactly how Inyola moves, lifting up everyone around her. But her mother says she had to make some big sacrifices along the way. In an interview with Forbes Africa, she said, I've been mocked for putting my career aside, but seeing Inyola achieve this makes every sacrifice worthwhile. Parents need to listen to their kids, encourage them, and make sacrifices when necessary. I never thought the world would know me through my child, but here we are. Wow. And you know what else amazes me about this young lady, Inyola? She's already thinking about how she can bring her solution to her country, Nigeria, where air pollution is a leading cause of death, more than malaria. I want to get this into other places, not only America, because I believe that other countries also deserve a chance um, for better air quality. And I'm starting with Nigeria because um, that's my parents' hometown. She has written to Nigerian authorities requesting an invitation to discuss how her filter could benefit Nigerian schools. Now, I hope the Nigerian government has responded, but if not, what's taking so long? And can we get this video to the attention ASAP? But here's why this matters, right? Not just for Connecticut, but for the entire world. In a time where schools everywhere are struggling to deal with everything from COVID to RSV to good old fashioned flu, Inyola's solution is cheap, it's effective, and it's scalable. And let me remind you again, guys, she is only 12. Now 12 years old, Inyola's goals go far beyond air quality. I'm going to become the first African-American female president because I also want to inspire other kids like me who have big dreams. I just want them to see that you can do anything you put your mind to. And let's also take a moment to highlight the importance of investing in STEM programs and getting children exposed as early as possible. You see, Iniola attended a STEM academy. And that experience didn't just sharpen her math and science skills. It shaped her outlook on what's possible. It showed her that real problems need real solutions, and she could be the one to create them. Imagine what our world would look like if every child had access to that kind of learning and encouragement. So what's the takeaway from today's episode? Well, if Iniola can do this at 12, What's stopping the rest of us, right? Let's start building solutions. Let's start fighting for safer spaces. And let's believe in young people because clearly they are ready to lead. And listen, I can't wait to sit down for an interview with Iniola. You already know that's in the works. So stay tuned. 
So that's it for today's breakdown. If you loved this story, give us a thumbs up, share it with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss another conversation like this. And hey, do you know an amazing person doing some groundbreaking things? I would love to share their story right here on The Breakdown. Please reach out to me at contact at panagenius.com. Thank you for staying with me. Until next time, take care.